Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe, and this tutorial is all about working with the new Generative Fill feature here inside of the beta version of Photoshop. In this project, I'd like to demonstrate a really great feature for graphic designers and illustrators. Here I'm working with a high contrast silhouette image, and I wanted to extend this bison just a bit more, and the results I got looked like this. It was remarkable. Let me demonstrate how I did this. First, I make a selection of the area that I'd like to extend. Only make it as large as the bison you want to create. So it's going to fit the bison into this area. Make this selection, then go to the Generative Fill taskbar. And in this case, I'm entering in American Bison. You could also put in American Buffalo. Next, we're going to select Generate right there. It will look at the style of this image, the silhouette style, and it will then duplicate that style in the variations it gives me. Check this out. Look at the different variations I received on this first pass. Select the Generate button again, and continue selecting the Generate button until you get just the bison you're looking for. I'm going to go through some of the variations I received as I ran this several times. Keep in mind, super user tip and technique right here. Under the image menu, make sure that you set the mode to RGB right here. The generative fill feature will only work with RGB images. There you have it, a really great super user tip and technique when working with the new generative fill feature here in the beta version of Photoshop. Give it a try. 